Hi guys, this is Josh from TT101. I just wanted to say thank you for stopping by and taking a look at my video. I'm going to be talking about AR-15 magazines today. I hope you guys find this video enjoyable and informational, so stay tuned for an interesting video. Alright guys. Today I want to talk to you guys about AR-15 magazines and which magazines you should actually be stocking up on before this upcoming election or just to stock up on for any reason because in my eyes these are probably three of the best examples of AR-15 magazines that you could be purchasing on the market right now. And um, one of those is the good old standby PMAG. There's been zillions and trillions of videos uh, of these done on all over uh, YouTube. So I'm really not going to get into that one so much. But the reason why I have this actually in its packaging still, I actually bought 10, 10 of those strictly as just an investment because I'm going to get into a second about plastic magazines versus metal magazines. But um, I, I really feel that a metal magazine is just a much better option than having a plastic one. Um, as in like long-term use and at that standpoint um, going on this is a hex mag these are also very very good magazines I really like these as well uh, I do have these two loaded up right now at the moment but uh, yeah these are really great magazines they have come out with a second generation of these as well I've heard really good things about those this is just a uh, series one that I happen to have right now and I've never had any issues with this one I really like this magazine as well um, and then this guy right here is by far my favorite of all three of the magazines that I stock up on and this is actually going to be a stainless steel C products uh, defense magazine these are made in the USA and uh, I just really like the thought and uh, of having a metal magazine because I just know this is going to work. If I drop it, it might get bent up a little bit, but I mean, I could take um, a pair of needle, no needle nose pliers or something like that and bend it back. If you drop a plastic magazine and it cracks, it's it's down for the count. I mean, this, this becomes use useless then, especially if you drop it on the uh, feed lips right here and these get busted. You're, you're screwed. You're out of the fight then, you know? So, honestly, I would have to say if you're going to get any kind of magazine that you plan on using for, like, uh, life and liberty uh, situation, like protecting yourself and your family, I would just get metal magazines. You really just cannot go wrong with a good old stainless steel, aluminum, even like a GI mag. I prefer the stainless steel ones, personally, because of the durability of stainless and, uh, steel. This is by far my favorite magazine to stock up on. I have quite a few of these. They all, uh, and Also, a fun fact about these, the follower in, in uh, this magazine uh, was actually, they purchased the rights to be able to use this from Magpul. So it has the anti-tilt Magpul follower that is actually integrated into this magazine. So that being said, it's not going to uh, tilt and nosedive your, uh, your rounds, and it's going to be really reliable. And so that's a step up above the old uh, standard GI mags. I believe that the new GI mags do have an anti-tilt follower in them now, but that being said, metal magazines all the way, guys. I, if you're going to stock up on anything, I'd get these. And then if you're stuck on the plastic Fantastics, I would uh, definitely go with a hex mag or a P mag. I hope you guys found this uh, video enjoyable and interesting. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and the like button. And as always, you guys have a good night.